Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Longlegs in the craziest ways. She loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Longlegs from Playtime Co. What's the time? Where did it go? Did she talk to me? Is she one of the other experiments? I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. There's gotta be some way out of here. <coughs> Darn it. What? Who put this here? Come on. Kidding me? What is door? No, 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 no. I'm not going back in that stupid factory. There has to be some other place, somewhere. How is she talking to me? Oh boy. I can't be safe, but I don't think I have another choice. Okay. Alright. One. Two. Three! Okay. That worked. Stronger than I thought. Come on. There's got to be a door somewhere. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> Wait. room. Right? Please work. Please work. Yes. Poppy. 
Right, that's... That was the doll's name, right? Poppy. Wait. What's that say? Elliot Ludwig Biography. Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... <laughs> Wait. So then... He had a tragic loss. What if that's why he started... experimenting like this? Was this his form of innovation? But why? Did the loss make him go... In insane? Gotta lead somewhere. Please don't be a dead end. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh! 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 Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. What? I was just trying to get the power back on. Here. What the heck? So you can talk. Were you one of the experiments? Not gonna talk, huh? Frick. Come on. Train station? What do you mean? Come on. It's not like I have another choice, right? While I'm still a doll. <laughs> Fine. Uh, don't you want to come with me? Not particularly. have anyone else I can trust. If there really is a train, then maybe. Maybe there is a way out of here. She could be leading me into a trap, but... I don't have the luxury of trusting someone. I just have to move. Hey! I'm <clears throat> up here! I see you. <laughs> Real funny. I should be able to follow you through the vents. This way. It's not possible that one of these things are actually good, is it? I mean, whatever that 
blue thing was. What was it called? Huggy Wuggy or something like that. Whatever that thing was. It definitely wasn't good. What if she's the same way? this time. I can't screw this one up. <laughs> okay. Did it perfect the last time? Just gotta do it again. Okay. All right. One, two. <sighs> okay. All right. Three. <laughs> Hey, so where's this train station then, that you're talking about? Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. <laughs> What's that? No, 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 no. There has to be another way out. I am not going in that hole. Frick, there's no other place to go. Poppy! Are you okay? Okay. Darn it, darn it, darn it. It's either die down there or die here. Fine. I just gotta. just gotta try. trust her anyway. Please be an exit behind this door. Please. Okay. All right. Your insides. 
while you're still alive. <gasps> Maybe I can get by without seeing her again. Didn't open it? You gotta be kidding me! A game, huh? Fine. Shoot 
to temporarily hold electricity? Is it like a conduit? Design. Who would make that? Ugh. Ugh. Who would make locking mechanisms like that? I just don't get it. But it looks like I'm going nowhere without a new hand. <coughs> okay. Find another door before I get to the the room that she's trying to lure me into. I mean, there's gotta be one around here, right? <clears throat> Maybe it's behind this door. If I can just get this hand, try it again. Doesn't last long. Wait, does this door? No. Dang it. There's no other door. Looks like this is my only way then. Fine. There's a door in here. Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. 
a sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck. What is that? What have you been doing up there? Is it... Oh, what? isn't it amazing? <laughs> Mommy hasn't seen the place up and running in years. Mommy can only imagine how excited Bunzo must be. What? It's been such a long time since he's been able to play. <laughs> to cheer. <laughs> to eat. Stop! <laughs> Take 
<laughs> Mommy was hoping the game could last a little longer. Screw you. It's okay, though. Mommy knows other ways to play with you. Screw you! Screw you and your stupid games! Why are you doing this? of the train code. I bet I need that to actually activate the train. She could be lying to me, though. I don't have a choice, though, again! I mean... Is this inventory? Program these things this way. Or. Or the things went rogue. I don't get it. Nothing makes sense. I just want to get out of here. There's gotta be a way. Wait. Come on. Come on! Looks like I gotta get up there then. I gotta get that off. Man, what's that? Is that a giant crane? Power. Ugh. Another receiver. Wait. Oh, 
three. Looks like this is my only option. Came to it is. You did fantastic. Who gave you permission to be this smart? <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Wacko Wuggy. Head downstairs and what? have fun. Wacko Wuggy. Oh. What the heck is this? <laughs> Welcome to Wacko Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. What? A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. <laughs> if one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. There's more of them. No. No, no. The toys in this <laughs> game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. <laughs>
So I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mob handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what'd you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mob handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So I, I took a peek beneath the gate. And some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? What? You're sure it wasn't a person? It's no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? 
I haven't a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will ya? Actually, never mind, get out of my sight. I bet one of them got him too. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. 
you may move Red again light, once light. the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugga Pillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. <laughs> That's all. Good luck. <laughs> Hey, I, I didn't work here. I know. Kids didn't come back to play with them? I don't understand. I gotta get out of here. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Oh, frick. Okay.
Skinner.
Excuse me.
Jessica. Log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006. The prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. He... The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door despite the other specialists still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. What? What were they making? Were they actually trying to make monsters? <clears throat> I'm getting out of here. Wait. The train.
You... Bobby? Bobby? Oh. There. Bobby. Did you kill her? Uh... Good. I'll board the train. We need to leave. Yeah. Yeah. Something didn't seem right with her. Okay. Well, she's probably just shocked. <laughs> Finally. Time to get out of this place. Oh. Train code. Uh, okay. One, four, two, three. Tell the authorities about this. They gotta get this contained under control. When I get out of here, I'm gonna stop this place once and for all. I was so scared she put me back in that case. But yeah. you saved me. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. What? I'm sorry. I Wait. can't let you leave. Wait, what? No! Anyone like you. <laughs> no! Do you know how long I've been stuck in that case? Well, too long. You witch! I had so much time to think and reflect. Let me out! Time to figure out exactly what I would do when free. We'll set things right. Terrible things have happened. Come on! But I know that whatever I need you to do. No! You're capable. No! We will. What? What? Frick! No, no, no. Wait. What happened to her? Poppy! Frick. It's speeding up. Come on! Uh, yeah. uh.